If you don't already know, I'm Brandy, and you caught me here on Citizen Operating Systems, where I'm always trying to upgrade my hardware and my software to be a better citizen operator. In this video, I'm going to be showing the AR500 Freeman Plate Carrier, talk about why I chose this over a traditional weight vest, go over some things I like about it, things that I think should be improved, and maybe help you decide whether you want something like this or whether you don't. So, first thing you might notice about this plate carrier is it is tiny. I did just pull this out of my everyday backpack, and the purpose behind this as far as AR500 is concerned is it is marketed as a last-ditch armor. It's not meant to be a main plate carrier, not meant to be taken to war. It's meant to be the backpack carrier, the truck carrier next to the bed, just something that's affordable and, and accessible and convenient. So if I put this on, you'll see that it covers just the vitals. I'm not going to lock it down here yet. Uh, it covers just the vitals, so it's going to cover the heart and the lungs and basically nothing else. I'm not a large framed person. I'm about five foot five on a good day. So for me, uh, it does cover more than for others, um, but it's it's definitely not meant to be your your main main plate carrier. Um, but as far as a last ditch effort, and especially as the weight vest I'm using it as, it is awesome. The plates inside are nine by nine. You can see this is a top loading carrier and the plate size and shape is proprietary. There are not any other plates this size and shape that you're going to find. Um, I have this front taped up. I didn't like the, the uh, shining coming through, the shininess of the, the coating there. Um, but you can see that this design is pretty much swimmers cut in this orientation a little more traditional in this orientation. Um, that might be a plus for some, might be a negative for others. For me, it's a plus. I don't need a proper plate carrier. Um, I'm not a police officer or in the military or any sort of responder of any nature. So having something that I can't replace is, is fine for me, especially since I am using it for training primarily. Um, then this, this is fine for me. And because I use it for training, I do keep it in this orientation. What's nice about that is it allows for space for my arms to move, reach, pull, hang, etc. Uh, so that works great for me. The second awesome thing about this, and I didn't bring them out to demonstrate with, because uh, I was carrying enough weight when I jogged down here with this on and with my backpack full of all the things it's full of, is this actually fits regular weight plates. So say you have your standard Olympic bar, uh, 2.5 pound plates, or even five pound plates, having this be a top loading carrier, they do fit right in there. In fact, I've put uh, two fives and three 2.5s in here. So I can get a good amount of weight front and back without having to have training plates or 
anything special or anything different than what I already have for my training at home. So that on its own is is really why I, I suspected that this would be a good carrier for me is having known it was top loading before I got it, knowing that these plates, each one is about five pounds. Uh, for me, 10 pounds on my chest for pulling and climbing is, is plenty right now. Being able to add another 10, 15 pounds front and back, that's more than enough than I need for my current training uh, with something like this. And if I need more weight, well, I have an old rigorous belt and a carabiner, uh, strap it some more some more weight on there like that. But for, for my purposes, climbing and, and doing pulls and, and such, this is this is more than enough with just the regular plates. Another note on these five pound plates, um, they are AR500 steel. The basic package is $99 when it's on sale. Uh, when I bought this, they were having a sale for $99 for the basic package, which gets you the carrier and the plates in a flat, uh, flat design with no spall, anti-spall coating. Uh, and then you can upgrade from that basic package to curved plates and anti-spall coating. So even though at the time, the reason I got this was it was on a super budget. Um, I actually used the gift in order to get it, a gift card uh, to get it. I did opt for upgrading to the uh, the curved plates. So you can see here, it doesn't sit perfectly flat, but that's totally fine. All I do for when it's in the backpack is you just twist it this way. What's nice about that is two, two main things that are nice about that. Thing one is if I do this correctly, I now have an easy package to put in and out of the bag. And thing two is I now have my strike plates facing outward. So even when it's in the backpack, at least for this amount of space, there's a ridiculous amount of, uh, <laughs> of rifle protection. Not that I think I need that. Um, but it is a cool bonus, right? Having a weight vest that works great for what I need it for, sits tightly to my body, and is also literally bulletproof. Uh, big pluses there. Other features of this Freeman plate carrier, you can see the back uh, is just blank. There's no uh, PALS cutouts or anything like that. There is some uh, some loop here to put patches on. So for example, if I got my little security patch for when I'm working in those, those nightclub venues and shows and stuff, I can go ahead and put that on there or whatever I want to mark it with. And then on the front, you got the same thing. Uh, more loop, and then some PALS cutouts. Now, I'll talk about this in a second. This does not come with the carrier. This is a Matchpoint USA accessory plate. And, well, let's just talk about that right now. So I got this carrier to be a training tool. I wanted to be able to have weight, work on my uh, mostly parkour specific climbing abilities. And right now, where I'm at with that is I can't actually do a full climb up wearing this yet, um, especially when I'm wearing all my other gear and have my pockets full and whatever else I might be having on my person. Uh, but because of that, one thing that I do as part of my progressions is climb downs. So doing the negative, uh, let's get my situation here. Um, in doing those negatives on these walls, what I'm doing is I'm coming, coming down, pressing my body against them, and then having the friction and having to uh, come back from there. So when I first got this and I started trying it out, I noticed that even from the first session, I was starting to get wear on the material itself. And though it, though it is a budget set, I have no interest in having to rebuy it um, or replace it, especially being you can't get the carrier by itself right now. So I decided I needed some sort of solution to reduce the abrasion on the front. My first thought was to get this. Um, because they designed this carrier to have space for like a three, three mag panels um, or an admin pouch. What I did was I got this super cheap one off of Amazon. I think it was like $14. And yeah, I put it on the front and then went ahead and tried that for a bit. And while that's super cool, I get to have some nifty things in here. Uh, I've got some some cordage, you know, and some screwdrivers and some electrical tape and 
just various <laughs> bits and bobs for utility. What I noticed that, even when this was empty, um, but especially when I had stuff in here, when I then went to do my progressions, it caused me to have to sit back even further, putting me at more of a mechanical disadvantage and having doing, to do progressions where I'm already at a really uh, disadvantaged place with just having the weight and just not being that strong yet. It was, it was a bit wonky and awkward. So that uh, I put that aside and I went ahead and got one of these. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and, try and show the result of, of this plate on here. Now it would it would absolutely um, let's get my my stuff together. It would pretty much defeat the purpose of this plate if I actually used it as the accessory plate it's meant to be. So it is losing some of its inherent utility because of the way I'm using it. But if I come in here, you should be able to see that I do have some scratches, some markings kind of through here. Maybe it's a little bit hard to see, but this thing is already getting pretty marred and mod up, and that's great because I want that plastic to take that um, that abrasion rather than this material that I'm not uh, super stoked to have to replace anytime soon. So this seems to be a pretty good solution for for that, and then ideally, uh, what I'll be able to do is just get strong enough where I'm not having to to do that so much, or you know, choosing other techniques. What is nice about having this, though, is that even though I do have this on here, um, there still is some open space where I can easily attach this here, and then I have something of a, an admin, almost joey pouch uh, utility there, which I found is, is really nice for just extra training or if I'm, if I'm LARPing or, or whatever I'm doing in my living room. Um, so still, still happy that I got this, but not using it for the original purpose that I got it for. Uh, let's see, the last couple things about this, it's pretty adjustable, um, there's a huge loop, you can see I have, again, I have a small body, so I still have all of this extra strap that I just keep tucked in there, so even though I just wear this mostly over t-shirts and hoodies, um, it's perfectly capable of being used over lots of clothing or winter clothing, and then I guess I could also show the relative um, concealability of this. Okay, so let's get it on in order to conceal it. Uh, one note is about the straps. These straps like to adjust themselves. They're, on the one hand, it's really nice because if you want to adjust it, when you put it on and then it's not strapped down, it's really quick to do that. But what I've been finding is that it, it loosens over time, even when I don't want it to be doing that. So I did leave this for specifically this uh, review video. But after this, what I'm going to do is that an extra piece of hardware right here? It's just standard one inch webbing. So even just one more uh, little bit there is gonna be able to stop that from slipping. It obviously will make it harder to adjust. Um, but for me, again, since I'm just wearing it over the same sorts of clothing all the time, it's not a huge trouble. Okay, so to, for concealability, I have it on my person. And then uh, keep in mind, this is a big coat for me. Um, a lot of times I'm wearing just a little bit tighter hoodies and stuff. Uh, and it's not, it's not as concealable as I might want it to be. Or, uh, just keep in mind a couple things. A, my chest is not flat. So if you have a flat chest, it might appear more natural if you're wearing it under clothing. And B, you know, people aren't super aware of things a lot of the time. So for people who are not looking for it, they're probably not going to see it. So if I'm just sitting around here, you can see I'm kind of a larger human-y shape. Um, not terribly natural looking, but also not horrible. I definitely think maybe uh, at night, especially, or in dark locations, or again, people are just distracted and, and in their own world, uh, most people are not going to notice that this is on my person. Um, again, for my uses, I'm mostly training with it. So I don't mind if people are are noticing it, but I do the the odd security job here and there, and there is something nice about, you know, knowing that I can have uh, armor under under a coat and and not be super conspicuous about it. So concealability is pretty decent. Um, 
but for me it's not not the main goal and then as far as other features or other things i think i think honestly that's pretty much it i mean it's a really it's a really simple piece of kit and while it's not at all meant to be in the place of a main carrier uh, if you're looking for an actual plate carrier and actual plates and by actual i mean like full sized um, this is not the way to go. Again, it's proprietary size and shape, so you're not going to get soft armor in this size and shape. You're not going to get level 4 or ceramic um, or composite uh, plates in this shape and size. So if, if adjustability for armor is what you're looking for, I wouldn't have gone with this. Um, for my purposes of having a sweet weight vest that doubles as rifle rated armor, um, this is perfect. It's it's been great, and I wouldn't have uh, chosen any differently if I had to go back and and redo the purchase. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any uh, experience with this and you want to share that, please put that in the comments. If you have any questions about it, that would be awesome also to be put into the comments. Uh, if you want me to try things with it or have things that you want to know about that I didn't cover. Uh, just put it all in the comments because my my goal here is to share with you a cool tool that I've been enjoying, uh, but also help you know more about it to help you make better decisions around whatever you might be seeking, whether that's a weight vest or <laughs> a, uh, a bulletproof weight vest, <laughs> I guess. Um, yep, I think that's it. Peace.